Let's hear it! Let's go, Robin. Give it all. Give it everything you got. Thank you, Christopher. You've got the Woolworths of politics. The Liberal Party. Here. On the right. Fresh ideas are a bit on the nose. We left them out in the loading bay a bit long. Now they need washing down with a watering hose. You've got the coals of politics, the LP, slightly left, but also on the right. Down, down, our backbone and our ethical convictions are down. Clutching onto straws ain't going to save our plight. You've got the snake oil salesman, the Clive Palmer United Party, opening a dodgy internet uh, store and trying to avoid paying DST. But that big guy, he can cover all his legal fees. You've got the doomsday theorists, Rise Up Australia Party, starting a garage sale with a pulpit on the street corner, selling dusty books and smelly clothes. But before you haggle for a bargain, just don't tell them you're a foreigner. You've got the Greens, the independent farmers market here on the real left. Economic rationalism is a game that they play in jest. But the little guys can't compete against this duopoly. They can't sell milk and broken promises quickly enough to cover their fees. Unfair market share is the reason they'd be complaining to the AEC. Thank you. Yeah! He says what we're thinking! <laughs> oh, sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll work on that tight man, thank you. What's under the shorts? <laughs> That's later on, Jonathan. So, you don't want to work? What are you? A bludger. You want to retire? What are you? You're an old codger. Went to Caroline Springs High? What are you? You're factory fodder. You want to be a tradie? What are you? A cashed up bogan. Want to escape asylum? What are you? You're trying to avoid a three word fucking slogan. You went to a private school? What are you? You're a lottery winner. Maybe you're a man of God, what are ya? You're a sinner. Maybe you want to be a footy player, what are ya? You're a boy in a bubble. Or perhaps you want to play soccer, what are ya? You paid double. You grew up in Thomas Town, what are ya? You're not worth the fucking trouble. Feel like a bit of a change, maybe? And get a drug habit going, what are ya? You're a prosecuting QC. So you want to be a designer? Well, grow some fucking balls and charge a decent fee. So you want to be a street sweeper? Well, feel quite free. So you want to be a real estate man? You'll never lie straight in bed ever again. So, so you want to be a guy who lies through his teeth? What are you? You're a two-rack businessman. So. You want to be the opposition leader, you got to be a Rhodes Scholar. So you want to be Malcolm Turnbull, you've got to live life with a short leash tethered to your collar. So you want to be a copper, what are ya? You? You're a crook. So you want to be a crook, what are ya? You? You're a copper. So you want to play full forward for Melbourne, what are ya? You? You're a tanker. Or you want to get up on stage, wear a cheap mask and point out the failings of others, what are ya? You? A fucking wanker. Australians used to practice an art that was Aussie to the core. A bit of silence to complement our dour resolve, rather than conversing until we bore. Everyone's got a fucking voice. There's persona left and right. Annabelle Crabb is slowly taking over the ABC with a vintage look, staring down the Gruen Transfers cameraman with a sultry sight. She got a vintage chic from that dowdy passenger on the bomb-laden bomb bus in speed, shying away from the explosion which is bursting through the light. I turn to the back page of the Fairfax rag, where I flick through the monthly, and by God, there is Annabelle again. She's given me the itch, pouring over every lucid thought in her mind with a fine-toothed comb. I turn on the TV, and there she is again! proffering a plate of macaroons for Penny Wong and the rest. <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, Ooh, boy. on page four of The Australian, Janet Albrechtson swoons for Tony Abbott's hairy chest. They must learn this shit in school. What's fucking next? 
Who needs to be bombarded by another Tim Sop Pomana say that being suburban Aussie is all a bit too passe? You read the Age editorial and you can tell the cadet that wrote it used to run a blog about best suburb in Melbourne, slagging off the blokes, blokes who wear footy shorts, high-vis vests and runners for work, not for sport. Oh my, oh my, it gets worse. The octogenarian newspaper mogul from the US of A with a 70% stake in the nation's media wants to tell the people how to vote instead of letting them use their own minds to form their thoughts for the day. You can't lock yourself away without running into any unwanted commentary about the nuances of life. You'll be damned if you turn around and say, I don't give a shit. Oh mate, because you'll be in strife. Give me back the good old days, though I know they really stank. When everyone could see right through you when you were talking wank. And we didn't have to go around pretending to be yanks. <laughs> We Australians used to have a silent art. Before we leave home, we always remember to switch off the lights and lock the door. But we forgot to shut fucking up. But I tell you what, I'll start. Woo!